To go through and put in a running play, what we're going to do is select a run, select the player number, drag the ball for what he gained, 15 yards, until in the tackler. And now we're ready to move on to the next play. And the distance, the downs, the yard line is automatically being calculated. During the course of the game, there is not a running clock. The clock functionality will have to be started and stopped at your control. To do so, all you'll need to do, tap on the time. When the clock function comes up, go through and select how much time is remaining in the quarter and click done. You'll want to make sure to do this on any change of possession and after every scoring play to make sure that you get the proper time of possession stats calculated. Other than that, you're welcome to adjust the time at any point you feel is necessary, especially during stoppages of play and timeouts. Going back into the event entry here, you'll also see that at any time when the clock is starting to get towards the end of the quarter, you can hit a button to go ahead and move on to the next quarter. You'll be able to do this for every quarter, including when halftime is over, ending the third quarter, and then finally going through and finalizing the game.